There are stories that take you fiercely but don't give you anything notable at last. Exciting, passionate and overwhelming, but without a message, a meaning that your mind can be satisfied with. They work on feelings, help you to have fun and are not interested in thoughts and ideas. I don't blame these movies, sort of like them. I like having no idea what's going to happen. Utter ignorance about what comes next is beautiful for the audiences. And it's a puppet that a few movies can benefit from. Death Roulette is one of them. This story, seven people woke up in a mansion located in a remote area. They soon realize they are stuck. Confused, worried, and scared, they listen to a machine-like voice which explains a game with three-year-olds. You must choose someone to die. The chosen must agree to die, and no one can volunteer to die. From this moment, they have one hour to release of themselves by sacrificing one. They begin to introduce of themselves, and through these conversations reveal their secrets. All are sinners, especially there is an acrostic in which some questions are designed in a way so that we know more about these characters and their histories. Finally, the award of that puzzle after being solved is the name of the kidnapper, Pablo Vega. I promise I won't go any further. There are more twists later which can hardly be guessed. You will be shocked. The production design is remarkable, bringing us to the inner horror and mystery of this film. The cast is well chosen. The acting is definitive. There are multi-layered roles and difficult performances to deliver. Particularly Manola Cardo and Maribel Verdo were brilliant. The plot apparently is only concerned with increasing excitement in the audience. It doesn't develop characters enough. Saban's family is less believable than others. Why does Marta love Esteban to the point that she is ready to sacrifice herself for him in a scene where Esteban initially votes for himself to be killed and then Marta crying dissuades him and comes forward herself to be killed? Especially if we become aware of the last scene Martha knew that her husband abused young girls and that she was betrayed. How can a man like this be loved? Also, however, we can understand Lupa's hatred for her father. Her hatred for her mother is not fair. We remember Martha sincerely agreed to be the victim in order to save her family. She is guilty about abandoning her nephew. But to Lupe, she seems not to be a bad mother. A twisted story is one of the big fascinations a movie may have. The complexities help deepen the story and fully get our attention. But it is in fact a double-edged sword. Sometimes these complexities lead to confusion and ambiguity. Thankfully, Death Roulette is careful not to go that way. With the suspenses and thrills, we are completely engrossed in this story. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to help me improve my channel. Like my video and comment on it. I'm curious what you think about my reviews.